Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicholas Kidd, and I'm back. So, uh, today we'll be taking a look at some of the top 5 CD tweaks that are compatible with iOS 7.1. As you guys know, um, currently, right now, there aren't many tweaks in CD that are compatible with iOS 7.1 jailbreak. Most of them are actually still in beta, and even one of the basics, you know, activator. It still crashes, and I have actually uninstalled it from Cydia because it, you know, it frequently crashes, and I can't, I can't actually stand it anymore. You know, I'm, I've been struggling every day, but uh, you know, there are actually some tweaks out there which are compatible with iOS 7.1, and I'm gonna show you my top five. Number five. Coming in in number 5, we have got YouTube Essentials. And if you guys use this YouTube frequently on your device, you are gonna love this tweak because right now we have got tons of different, uh, you know, customizations and options for YouTube. And uh, I think most of the people out there are, you know, expecting this tweak to be out anytime soon. So anyway, um, we are gonna go through, you know, whatever uh, options there is right here. So first of all, we have got 3G unrestricted. Maybe sometimes, uh, you know, videos wouldn't load because due to, uh, you know, you using your 3G instead of Wi-Fi. But uh, right now, we actually have um, this option. So, you know, you could actually load videos faster, you know, turning uh, the 3G unrestricted on. And next up, we have got Ad Disabler, which is one of the most annoying stuff on YouTube. You know, every time you have to wait for, you know, advertisements. But, uh, you know, this is actually really, really uh, similar to Adblock on PC. And, uh, you know, if you guys really want to directly support the YouTuber, um, it is recommended not to turn this off because, therefore, the YouTuber. Uh, will not earn any revenue. So next up we have got Edge Unrestricted. I don't know under any circumstances you guys would be needing this feature unless you don't have a YouTube account but uh, if you do this uh, isn't really important. So anyway next up we have got Background Audio Enabler. This is actually really freaking awesome. Um, you know you could actually exit out of YouTube and the audio would actually continue playing even though you actually block your screen which is pretty awesome and I'm just gonna show you guys uh, in a few seconds on how this works and of course last but not least we have got the white keyboard you guys can either turn this on or off alright so I'm just gonna select a few options right here and you know do a quick respring show you guys how it works alright guys so after a quick respring here I am on YouTube so this is my channel I'm just gonna load a video all right, and I'm just gonna show you guys how the audio background enabler works. So I'll make sure um, it is loud enough. Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so I'm gonna head over back to my home screen. And as you guys can see, this is freaking amazing. And first of all, I do apologize that you know I should have you know notified you guys earlier. But uh, for the matter of fact that this week I'm having my exams, so I'm late by one day, so yeah. Alright, so yeah, it does work. So normally if you're playing a video and if you exit to your home screen, uh, you know, the audio would normally stop. And, you know, right now you could actually do this, which is very, very freaking awesome. So I really love this tweak. Let's head on to number four. Number four. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 4, we have got Cydia Tweak Slide Back. So let me just show you guys how this works using the help of Safari, alright? So I think this is actually one of the best ways to demonstrate. So I'm just going to access App Store from Safari and right now, um, I'm actually in my App Store, alright? So a little bit of delay right there. But anyway, if I tap on my home button, normally it would bring me back to my home screen. But with Cydia Tweak Slide Back, it actually brings me back to Safari so yes this does work in any other applications that you know allows you to launch another application from it so you know it would actually bring you back to its previous application alright so I'm just gonna show you guys one more time accessing App Store from Safari alright so I'm just gonna back out and back to my Safari page alright good 
so you know I'm just gonna have head back to my home screen and uh, by the way guys there are no settings to configure you know you can't actually find the particular um, settings for it so yeah that's just how it works so that is about it for slide back a very quick and simple introduction and let's move on to number three number three so coming in in number three we have got notific 8 so this basically gives you the ability to have an almost exact replica of iOS 8 lock screen in your iOS 7 device so check it out guys right now we only have uh, two columns right there we have got today and notifications the uh, all column has actually been removed which is quite good I think so this is basically an almost exact replica of what we have right now on iOS 8 uh, you know having the all column removed I think it's actually pretty good this way it looks very very clean you know all notifications on one side and of course you know your events are alarms and stuff calendar all in one side which is pretty cool and uh, if you guys would like to edit anything on your notification center we have actually got this small little tab right here which will bring you to your notification center settings in your stock settings app so of course we got our you know basic uh, settings right there notifications view uh, you know today summary calendar day view or set whatever notifications you want it to be in your notification center so that's basically it for notific 8 and let's move on to number two number two so coming in in number two we have got ls manager which is a short form for lock screen manager and this is the ultimate settings for your lock screen currently available on iOS 7.1 and above so right now uh, we have got hide objects you can hide your notification center grabber hide your control center grabber and of course last but not least you can hide your camera grabber as well in other we got custom STU text enable which is a slide to unlock you can actually change it to your name which is you know pretty normal we have seen this tweak in uh, iOS 7 but right now uh, this tweak right here is available currently on iOS 7.1 alright so I've got all the settings ready right here you know I've uh, take everything and of course put my name in the slide to unlock uh, text save it respring alright so I'll be right back alright guys I don't know whether if you guys notice or not but my camera notification center and control center grabber isn't here anymore but we are actually still able to access these uh, useful features just like normal yeah there it is there's a little bit of light right there but uh, you know you guys can actually still see my uh, name right there in the slide to unlock text which is pretty cool and this is a tweak to customize your lock screen if you guys would like to do it so once again this is LS manager and let's head over to number one number one Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, in number one, we have got Status Weather 7. So this gives us the ability to have a little, little weather widget right there in our status bar. Alright, so come into your settings after installing the tweak, enable this, and uh, you guys could actually customize your weather update uh, interval. So right now, I'm just going to put as uh, 5 minutes, which is the minimum, which is... I think pretty good you know it updates every five minutes pretty awesome so anyway I'm just gonna do a quick respring right here and I'll be right back showing you guys how amazing this tweak is all right guys so after a quick respring as you guys can tell right now we have my small little weather widget right there in my status bar telling me right now it's 27 degrees Celsius pretty awesome and uh, my clock has been you know um, minimize a little bit but you know no worries um, the status bar actually seems a little bit tight but overall I think it's pretty cool you know having a little small little cute weather widget right there in your status bar keeping you updated every five minutes alright so that is pretty much it for today's video guys I do apologize if I sound a little bit sleepy or tired because uh, I've actually had both my exams today two papers it's absolutely terrifying and I've still got two days more to go so you know I've been skipping a week not making videos I feel really really bad for you guys uh, you know I, I want to be a youtuber that 
you know updates you guys on city tweaks and you know not missing out so um, I do hope you guys can cope with me and you know I really want to thank you guys for your support so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure you leave a comment down in the comment section box below let me know which tweak you like best my name is Nicholas Kidd thank you guys so much for watching take care <laughs>